Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're looking for some of the best VPNs you can get for your Chrome extension, here are some of the best VPNs you can get. Of course, uh, when you purchase your um, subscription with a specific VPN, you'll also get access to their uh, application itself. So, of course, you're not just purchasing the Chrome extension. Though, uh, before we begin, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full-on reviews if you'd like to know the ins and outs of these VPNs in terms of privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, so be sure to keep that in mind. Uh, so, let's get straight into it. Now, of course, you're not going to be getting the full features. So, for example, starting with ExpressVPN, you're not getting a uh, bypass feature, which usually comes with uh, or a split tunneling or kill switch feature. Uh, the bypass feature will allow you to have certain websites not use or not go through the VPN feature, such as in Nord here, for example, bypass list. You can select, for example, YouTube. If you don't want YouTube to get affected uh, by the VPN, and it's the same with Surfshark, you also have that option right here uh, with the clean web, clean web and bypasser. So yeah, you're you're not gonna be getting uh, you know the full uh, the full set of features here. So, but they are available. Um, so I, I want to just briefly explain. I'm gonna make this a short video. Uh, if you're getting a VPN for the Chrome browser, you're already going to get access. So if you make the purchase, you're already going to get access to the application itself. So <clears throat> why simply encrypt your uh, browser data when you can encrypt your entire connection? And with the full VPN, let's say mm, you don't want to you don't want your entire connection to be secured, and you still just want to perhaps secure your Chrome, you can still do that by just going to split tunneling. Uh, do not allow selected apps to use the VPN and you can just add your Chrome extension. It, it's as simple as that. So, uh, or only allow selected applications to use the VPN, which can also come in handy. It's like, hey, I don't want anything uh, but my torrenting client to use the VPN. So that can come in pretty handy. And it's the same with uh, Nord and Surfshark, except with Nord, you also get a, an app kill switch. You get some uh, uh, specialty servers. And if you switch to the Nord Links protocol, of course, is the one you want to use. If you switch to OpenVPN, you're going to get your uh, specialty servers unlocked here. Uh, Onion over VPN doesn't seem to be available at the moment. It comes and goes, but uh, you do get access to double VPN and dedicated IP. Uh, but I would definitely stick to Nord Links. Oh, okay, so you can't really get Onion over VPN unless you're using Nord Links. That's very interesting. So Nord Links is the WireGuard, the powerful WireGuard protocol that you want to use at all times. Uh, what else do you get? You get a DNS, custom DNS, easy custom DNS uh, changing here. You can uh, do, you can get that. Of course, the kill switch. Uh, I, I, I believe I mentioned, uh, but just in case if I haven't mentioned it, it disconnects certain applications, selected applications. Um, instead of your entire network if your VPN disconnects uh, unexpectedly. So instead of disabling the internet when you're not connecting the, to the VPN, it will just simply disable selected applications. So, and with Surfshark, you're still going to get, of course, the static IP and multi-hop, which is the same as double VPN, clean web, whitelist, with whitelister, which is the same as double, uh, as um, split tunneling, excuse me. And you've got a kill switch as well as a handful of protocols, including the Shadow Socks protocol. So let's say you're interested in specifically just uh, securing your uh, browser data. You can do that definitely uh, using the Shadow Socks protocol. And the Shadow Socks protocol will also help you uh, bypass uh, geo restrictions, such as, well, not geo restrictions, but censorship uh, restrictions, such as the Great Firewall of China. Uh, that will definitely uh, very much help if you're not able to, uh, for example, bypass the Great Firewall of China using the regular servers. So, yeah, it's pretty helpful if you're interested in any of these VPNs. Of course, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. And if you want to really get to know these VPNs, 
before making any purchase, I would really recommend that you check the reviews below so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. You know, are you trying to buy a VPN for its Netflix capabilities? Is it for the security? Is it for the no log policy? What are you really getting your VPN for? Hopefully after watching the uh, VPN reviews below, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, you'll be able to make more of an educated decision on your purchase. And if you do wanna go back on your purchase at some point, you can still do that uh, if you go to uh, the, their website. They do have a 30 day money back guarantee on all of their plans. Even if you just get the one month plan for Express, Nord, or Surfshark, you can, still get your, you can still get your refund within the first 30 days which is very generous of them, effectively giving, giving you 30 days for free if you wish so. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.